Shield users can now block ranged physical attacks. I swear that's a big deal. What consists of a ranged physical attack, chat? Blind is a ranged physical. Wait, can you can you block blind now? Is there like an RNG chance to block blind if you're a shaman now? Oh my god, that would be so stupid. So isn't isn't that like a huge fucking nerf to hunters? No one's MM. Yeah, but like survival has like fucking that sting shit as well. I guess that doesn't count. I'm gonna paste this to Trillion and see what he makes of it. Fix pathing issues that could cause some spells such as frozen orbs or come stuck. That's good. Maybe that will help with knock as well. Ephemeral recovery redesign it now provides a mana gain when you go below 20% mana. Was 7,500 mana on PTR with a 3 minute internal cooldown. Wait, so it just procs once under 20% for 7.5k every 3 minutes? I mean, that's about what it gives right now anyway in a game, so... If you have a, a, a fucking 3 minute game or something, then it's like about the same. If you have a 6 minute game, it's a buff. If you have... Anything between, it's a nerf, I guess. I don't know. That's really fucking weird. That's so weird. Like, this, like it wasn't an issue. Like, the tray itself, there was no issue with this. The fact that they would spend time to redesign it in such a strange way. So weird. Apocalypse and Army of the Damned additionally summon Magus of the Dead for 20 seconds. Who holds Frost Bolts and Shadow Bolts at your first? Like, why are they adding more pets? Fuck off. Stop adding pets. No one wants to see a million pets flying around the map. Like, keep that shit clean. One pet max per class. Vengeful retreat no longer subject to global cooldown. <laughs> wait, wait. So, Demon Hunter's mobility thing got removed from the global cooldown, but Rets didn't? <laughs> oh my god. You just want to get one of those nice, nice white leather gloves and just go. Whoosh! Fucking wake up! It's Rhett's fucking dying in the streets here. We're fighting for him. Wild charge is no longer subject to global cooldown. Okay. Oh, it's just fucking hilarious. Like this game we're playing. Gushing lacerations damage increased by four hundred percent. It must have been so garbage. Rip deals additional periodic damage and has a six percent chance to award a combo point each time it deals damage. Dude, I swear this is gonna be sick as fuck. I mean, this is, this is, I don't even know if this is jungle, right? This is just general feral AoE dot pressure that this gives. Rip tick going to do 5k extra damage. Wait, wait, one tick is going to do 5k extra damage. No way, one tick does 5k extra damage. The whole rip, okay. I was going to fucking say I had a heart attack, like 15k extra damage per tick. Dude, you scared me, what the fuck? Mastery Starlight now affects Star Surge and Solar Empowerment at full value was half value weight. Feral is going to be more about spread pressure now than single target burst downs. Should we just carry on chat and hope it stops lagging soon and I'll just talk? Or is the audio fucked too? From the looks of this, Bite is getting buffed. Alright, that's Druid. So I think, um, I mean, overall it just looks like they're shifting a lot of the Feral damage onto Bleeds. Um... They're going to be less energy starved by the look of it. Looks like they're going to have more energy. We'll, we'll check out the PvP. Should we, go, should we go straight down to the Druid PvP changes? There's nothing about clone, but we haven't gone to the PvP changes. Let's, let's check the PvP changes out for Druid, and then we'll do that. We'll go back and forth. All right. Priest, focus will now stacks to a maximum of 1 was 2. So I wonder if this is going to be 10 or 15%, since right now focus will for disc is 10 stacking twice. If it's 10 stacking once, it's like, it's disc is completely dead. If it's 15 stacking once, it's probably dead. <laughs> Power word shield not buffed. If it isn't buffed, disc is probably dead. Halo damage and healing reduced, no one cares. Uh, Leap of faith absorbs the next 10k damage to the target within 10 seconds while the shield holds. I mean, it's for 10 seconds, right? And you're going to cool down three times as fast. So you're going to get 30 seconds off your shield, off your grip. So a best case scenario, your grip is going to be like 1 minute 40 cooldown. Uh, Depth of Shadows. I, I mean, I still think this might not be worth, but maybe it is. We'll see. You're going to get one big amend. And it's going to take 20 seconds to stack up to that amount. But maybe it's worth a, maybe it's worth a look getting three of these. Bear in mind, you're going to lose them nice Radiance traits to even get it. Promise of Deliverance replaces Sacred Flame for 10 seconds after you cast Serenity. Heal and Flash Heal for heal for an additional 
472, I don't know how much that's going to be, and reduce the cooldown of Serenity by additional one second. This might be okay. This might be decent for Holy. Searing Dialogue now also causes your mind seer to snare targets, hit, okay, whatever. Sudden Revelation, this is like questionable as fuck. Get this, right? Power Word Radiance has a 50% chance to cause your net. So already it's RNG on a cooldown ability. Questionable. Chance to cause your next. Wait for it. Holy Nova. Questionable. To deal an additional 1470 damage, garbage amount, and reduce the cooldown of Powered Radiance for 3 seconds. So is it 50% to reduce it by 3 seconds, or is it 50% to cause your next Holy Nova to reduce it by 3 seconds? It's unclear. Or is it just 3 seconds reduced no matter what? Which is the only thing that actually even matters then about this, because this is completely irrelevant. Thought Harvester. Redesigned. Vampiric Touch damage is increased, and each... Like, why can't you have these nice, simple fucking traits? I don't get it. Why have they got to do all this weird RNG shit? Like, just give us something half decent, for fuck's sake. Yo, you've got to stack fucking Shadow of Pain for 20 seconds to get one big amend. Yeah, like, fuck off. Each time Vampiric Touch deals damage, you have a chance to increase the damage of the next mindset. Whatever. It's garbage. Whispers of the Damned redesigned. Mind Blast now deals additional damage, generates additional insanity on critics. Like, like how simple is that? Lovely. Discipline. Damage of Smite and Pain reduced by 11%. Great. Damage of Shadow Fiend, Mind Bender, Purges of Wicked Schism, and Power Word Solace reduced by 8%. Great. Atonement heals for 55%. Damage done was 60%. Great. Body and Soul no longer has a 6 second internal cooldown. First buff we found. Whoop the fucking do. And it's literally the shittest thing ever. The only thing that this is useful for is tanking Turbo right now, which you won't be able to do because you have no Focus Wall and no Shield. Good luck. Good luck with your 3 second 40% move speed. Uh, evangelism cooldown increased by 15 seconds. No one cares. It's not used anyway. Power is global on it, by the way. <laughs> Enjoy. Power tool cost increased to 2.65% of mana was too far. Oh, okay. Great. Throw salt in the wound. Why not? Rapture additionally allows you to ignore weak and soul. Great. So that's the discipline changes. Where in this list have you seen any spec raped as hard as this has been? Because that's what this is. This is literal rape. Like, as we've been going down the list, all that's happened here, holy... Holy didn't get anything. We haven't even got to the PvP changes yet. We may get to some other some other atrocities by Blizzard. Not sure yet. Let's see. Uh, but, like, monks were chilling. Palas so far are chilling. We haven't got to the thing yet. Druids are chilling. Shamans we haven't got to yet. Maybe shamans are going to get raped too. We'll get there. We'll get there, chat. Don't be rushing me now. Holy. Benediction proc rate decreased to 25%. Was 30%. Okay. It's fair. Fair. Maybe it was proccing too much, understandable. Binding heal reduced to 67% of spell power, was 75%, and now costs a bit more mana, okay. Probably a PvE change, don't know. Focus will, rank 2, now uh, allows it to stack up to 2, okay. Greater Fade now cancels when the priest takes a hostile action, fair enough. Good change. Heal healing increased to 175%, was 160%. So heal is not doing that much right now, this buff is nice. Um, when you consider they're also buffing it in PvP, but we'll see that when we get further down. So I think heal might be actually real. Holy World Salvation reduced. You won't use it in PvP anyway. Healing of Renew increased by 15%. Good shit. Renew might actually heal for something now. We'll, we'll see. Uh, heal is healing for 18k. I mean, it's less than Mend, right? So Trail of Light now affects heal as well as flash heal and replicates 35% of the initial card. I did not mean to do So heal got big buffs this patch overall. Shadow Priest now have Focus Will. All damage reduced by 5%. Uh, dispersion damage reduced. Uh, reduction increased to 75% was 60%, and now also increases move speed. That's kind of a big buff. Um, you, I mean, Shadow Priest were dying through dispersion sometimes, so I think this is fine. They, you shouldn't be dying through dispersion. Um, the movement speed is nutty when you consider that it. Uh, intangibility replaces mania. Dispersion heals you for 50% of your maximum health over its duration and has 30 seconds reduced cooldown. Like, that seems absolutely mental. Priests, Shadow Priests better be taking Shu to justify this. I think that's what they're anticipating to add something like that. Hallucination is now a passive ability for all Shadow Priests whilst PvP talent. Can we please have some of this for Disc and Holy? Some of this shit. Some of this love. There's so much shit that Holy has that needs to be just a passive ability for all, all Holy Priests. There's so much shit. There's like four different talents or something that need need that treatment. Disc, same thing with death. 
get it on there. Okay. Mindset damage increased. Power shield no longer has a cooldown. Wait, what? So it's just it's the same thing as disc, right? They just it, it just gives weak and soul. Psychic scream damage threshold increased by forty percent against non okay non players. I was gonna be fucking scared for a minute there. I was like, why is why is this not getting this? Back to league or cooking streams? <laughs> yeah, cooking streams until this get buffed. Guys. Cassilus QT with a Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Shadow form no longer provides ten percent physical damage reduction, so they lost the damage reduction of that. Didn't oh, well. I guess we'll figure out the other one in a sec. Surrender to man is cooldown reduced to three minutes. Okay, whatever. Void form now increases spell damage by twenty percent. Was ten percent, and his sanity drain increased. Uh, increase reduced by seventy five percent. So void form is going to be more real now. For sure. Gives priests more incentive to erupt. Void bolt and sanity generation increased to twenty was sixteen. Void torrent damage increased by twenty percent. Now generates twenty five insanity over this duration. No longer requires void form. I think, like, anything with a melee will just stick the one melee on a disc. Like, you can legit... I feel like you can legit just split against a disc at this point. You just stick your one melee guy on the disc, and the disc shits himself and can't do anything, and spams cooldowns on himself because he's taking so much damage and then dies. Trinity now... So this is great, but you won't be able to cast smites. Um, Fiend is three-minute cooldown, and... Yeah, I mean, it's nice for penance, I guess. And then Mend cooldown increased by 25% in PvP. This is like the one saving thing that maybe will save us. Maybe will help us. I don't know. Mend is going to have to carry us hard. And we'll have to not go Oom while spamming it. Because we're going to take so much fucking damage. It's unreal. So this is an interesting one. So they buffed heal for PvE. And then they're buffing by 50% more in PvP. So I feel like heal is going to do work in PvP. And then you've got this new AoE Aura Mastery. 0 0.5 second cast seems good as well. And then great heal, which does just a stupid amount of healing. Maso, ma yeah, I hate that as well. Like when mass, you just have to take masochism all the time, and then you just have no mobility. It just feels so bad. It makes disc feel so bad to play when you have no mobility, no, no even feather. I was gonna say when you have no mobility, but you just have no mobility regardless. When you don't have feather. All right, rogues. I can't be asked going through the Azerite traits. I like. I really cannot be fucked. Subtlety, Shuriken combo, baseline passive removed. Don't even know what it was, but guess it doesn't matter. No. Shuriken storm damage increased by thirty five percent. Does anyone even use this? Like they're buffing Holy a lot, right? They're pushing Holy so much with these new things. Like they want people playing Holy because Disc is too hard for them to balance. Like, that's what it comes down to for me. It's taking too much time for them to come up with good changes for disc that will work in PvP. And, I mean, they can do it. They can ba balance disc in PvP. Like, no question about it. But the changes that they've done are so lazy. And, like, this one is a big fucking question mark. Like, I don't even know how they come up with this. This is such a weird thing to do. Because Trinity is already in an okay place. So why would you buff a trait that's already in a decent place? To a place where you literally cannot not take this. You have to take Trinity. Now. Because the entire class now relies on the, the throughput that you gain from it. Because you fucked Focus Will. And you fucked Shield. Like right in the ass. And then and then to compensate they're like well I guess we'll just buff Shadow Men in PvP. So like you're just going to be standing there spamming. Spamming Mend. Like the correct change here. Like I, I like the Weakened Soul change. I think it was good. I think spamming Power Word Shield was bad. Uh, I think the correct change would have been to add Weaken Soul. Um, either as a talent. Um, or have Rapture as a talent that it somehow included Weaken Soul. Or um, they should, they should like Weaken Soul being added is fine. As long as then they buff Shields again to like Legion levels. And if you have to do that in PvP alone, then so be it. But then at least you have some decent shield design again. And then you have to remove the global off Rapture, because that's a fucking joke to begin with. And then you somehow incorporate that into your talent system. Done. Then you have your weakened soul design, and you have 
and it doesn't destroy shield in PvP, and then you can work on the other shit. Okay, what's the other problems? Disc is doing too much damage in PvP, mostly against bad players. If you're playing against people of equal skill, you can't spam as much damage. Or any sort of unreasonable amount of damage, at least. I think it's at a good level right now, but apparently it's not okay for some people. So then you tone down the damage, which they've done, and that's fine. So what do you do to, to, to compensate for that? Well, okay, they've toned down the damage. You can't cast that many damaging spells in general. So you've, you've toned down the one cast of the damaging spell. You buff up something like Penance Healing. You buff up Shadow Mend, which they've done. So that you don't have to spend as much time catching up healing. Uh, and you can spend more time doing your less powerful now damage spells. So like, they, like they're halfway there, but then they come up with some crazy ass shit like this. Which makes no sense whatsoever and they could simplify this so much more this is like their attempt at making uh discs not do too much damage in twos but still be viable in threes that's what this is and it's a really in my opinion unimaginative over complicated attempt at doing that uh, so i think this is completely like the wrong way to go they're gonna be tweaking shit now like what they've done now by making focus wall like that is they basically saying we're not going to go back on that, because they never do. They never go back on something that they've done. It's so fucking rare that, that happens, at least for an expansion. So what they're saying by doing that is we want Disc to have some sort of other mobility to get away, because there's no other way you're going to tank anything ever. And if Disc had mobility, then you wouldn't be able to have 30% focus wool as well. So I'm expecting next patch to either introduce some sort of mobility to Disc Priests, or... I mean, or it's done, basically. Um, yeah, rant over. I've, I've tried to make some constructive points. Maybe I've been too anti-PC, I don't fucking know. I'm so annoyed. Um, I, yeah, as for Holy, I mean, they've been pushing a lot of stuff for Holy. I think Holy actually could be pretty real, this patch. Um, I, I mean, like I said, I did my binds on it yesterday. I think Holy is definitely worth a shot. And I feel like that's what they're aiming for with this patch. Because I feel like they've they they feel like they've bitten off more than they can chew with disc, uh, in terms of PvP. And I honestly think that they could have actually balanced it and continued to make it really fun if they'd have been a bit more imaginative and had tried a little bit harder with it. But I just think it's a shame. And yeah, I agree. They do just change some completely random stuff to like to look like they're doing more stuff. Like look look at this change. Where is it? This change is a complete placebo. It changes nothing in PvE. They still take Halo in raids. You never take Halo in PvP. It's not like you're in BGs and you're like, man, I got hit by that fucking 10k Halo. Oof, that's too much. Hope hopefully they scale that down by 6% next patch. No. It's not a PvP change. It's not a PvE change. What is it? It's literally there to bolster the notes. It's It does nothing. It's a complete placebo. Oh, it's... I'm at the point where I don't even want to fucking read on to Shaman. It's, it's gonna actually just send me over the edge. I fucking know it. I think they'll hotfix shield absorb. Yeah, but it'll probably take until the end of the fucking season for them to do it. That's the annoying thing. Like, just do it. For th don't get me started, chat. Don't get me started. Cap totem and earth bind totem and <laughs> range increase to 40 yards. Why? I, I don't even want to read the Azerite traits. I really don't. I can't be fucking asked. New Call of Thunder, your maximum Maelstrom increased by 30 and the Maelstrom cost of Earthshock and Earthquake reduced by 10. I'm guessing they removed the Earthshock trait. Did they remove the stupid um, Riptide trait? Wait, so they didn't remove the Riptide trait, they didn't remove the RNG Earthshock trait. You can't get two Riptides anymore. They didn't remove Pack Wolf. Like, what are they doing? Oh. Pack Spirit is still in. Like, they nerfed Twist Magic, but not Pack Spirit. Like, they are definitely on the same tier of ridiculous. Pack Spirit, I would say, is probably even slightly dumber because it makes the Shaman completely immortal. <sighs> Earthshock damage reduced by 16%. Earthquake range increased. Lightning Bolt damage increased by 40%. Yikes. Stormkeeper now increases the damage of next two lightning bolts and their overloads by 150%. Yikes. Shit's gonna hurt. Surge of power, Earthshock. Also enhances your next spell cast within 15 seconds. Lightning bolt. Dude, lightning bolts, I swear, are gonna fucking hurt. How much does that shit do? It's a bit worrying. 
<laughs> enhancement, all damage increased by 5%. So see this, this word here needs to be decreased and there needs to be a zero right here. Five zero, done. Ball of fist damage increased. <laughs> Crashing short storm damage increased. Oh God. Force of winds damage per stack reduced to 80% was 100%. Fury of air damage. I mean, none of this shit is touching storm strike, which is all they kill you with, right? So. I don't even want to read that shit. Chain oil healing increased. I don't use that shit in PvP anyway, right? High tide redesigned every 40k. Level 120 money spend brings. High tide making your next two chain heals heal for an additional one. Okay, whatever. Unleash life now heals for 130 percent was 100. Okay. Increases the next heal by 35 percent was 45 percent and cost 4 percent mana was 5 percent. Yeah, man, they need their mana buffs. Shamans, shamans are really hurting for that mana. I mean, the, most of these changes seem like fucking irrelevant, honestly. Because you don't use half that shit. Aim here with the Twitch Prime. Three months in a row, thank you, bro. Don't know why I just spoke like that. I think I'm actually just going crazy. Blizzard's finally done it. Resto, new PvP talent, Ancestral Gift. Become immune to silence and interrupt effects for five seconds after using Spirit Walker's Grace. So the run thing gives them aura mastery. Isn't that like a two minute cooldown, I believe? Chain heal healing increased by 50. Dude, chain heal is going to be actually fucking real in PvP by the looks of it. New PvP talent, Cleansing Waters. Chain heal and healing rain have a 20% increased crit strike chance and dispel all harmful magical effects from targets when they critically hit. <laughs> sure it does. Dude, shamans are getting fucking buffed. Earth and War Totem observes 30% less per target when engaged in combat winning. Okay, that's good. Good stuff. This shit was a joke. Healing Surge, healing increased by 15% in PvP. Healing Wave, healing increased by 25% in PvP. Rippling Waters PvP tap. Dude, shamans are gonna be fucking sick. What What are you guys talking about? They're actually buffing this shit. Fuck's sake. They just actually have to cast now. Like, shaman is just gonna be like, if you don't kick them, they're gonna be like monks on now. If you let shamans heal, they're just gonna be like monks on now. They're never gonna go oom. Um.